Hello everybody and welcome back to my Sims in Bloom Let's Play. Today I'm back in the Bloom household obviously and first thing that happened when we loaded in is I got this notification saying congratulations Yogi is expecting kittens. For anyone who hasn't been watching Yogi is actually an elder cat. I didn't know that elder cats could have babies so that's quite interesting but it looks like we're gonna have one more addition to the family. In the last episode we wanted things to go pretty smoothly but it actually did end up quite chaotic once again with our mother dying while we were out for dinner at a restaurant but we ended the episode on sort of good terms we spent our birthday with our family and we're actually still there right now since it's 3 a.m in the morning i am gonna get daisy to head home now oh my god she's freezing to death <laughs> I'll quickly get her to come inside. Oh my god, please, <laughs> please put your cold weather on if you're gonna freeze to death. Okay, she seems like she's all right. Um, but since the last episode, I have changed up the twins' appearance slightly. So if we have a look over here at Stinky Clover, I've given her this little ponytail look now, and I've also given them an updated cold weather outfit, which I'll change her into quickly for you guys. Here she is in a little yellow dress. I felt like I was sticking with the yellow and green theme a little bit too much um, per child. So I decided to mix it up and give Clover a little yellow dress and Daffodil a little green dress. Oh my God, she's so sad. I'll quickly change Clover's, uh, no, Daffodil's outfit too. And there she is in her little cold weather outfit. I've decided to give Daffodil this like long hairdo I think it just looks really cute on her and she definitely has more of Hallie's hair texture with like the, the curls whereas Clover has more of like a straight wavy style similar to what Daisy has. So since they're aging up in ooh, two days I thought it was probably a good idea to give them a little bit of an updated toddler appearance just because they had short hair before and I think the them growing their hair out a little bit is sort of like it's shows that it has been some time since they've been toddlers and honestly i wanted to give clover this hair when she first aged up and i decided against it just because i didn't have anything as flashy to give daffodil and this pony is just so cute but i don't know i just <laughs> i decided to to give it and give it to her because she just looks adorable somehow both these babies are incredibly stinky so i'm gonna get daisy to come over and change their diapers which will hopefully help out the smell a little bit. And our house is also pretty dirty. So we want to get on that. Oh, look over here. What are you guys up to? Oh, she's so cute. Oh, Yogi is sick. I'm wondering whether it's... Oh no, maybe she's not sick. I think Sumi is actually sick. I'm going to get Hallie to come upstairs and give him a pet treat. Anyway, so I'm expecting the toddlers to probably age up in today's episode or at least early in the next one. So I'm hoping we can spend some time with them today doing, you know, toddler things because we haven't really spent that much time with them in the series so far. But on top of that, I really need to get Daisy to continue with her career and continue with her skills before it gets out of hand a little bit. She's got a few things she needs to do for her career at the moment and if she's feeling she's feeling all right I might get her to come outside and play some chess to get up her logic skill and it's a little bit annoying that logic is not one of the skills that we need for the challenge but we still need to get it up for our career so it's just another thing that we have to put on our plates that we weren't really expecting to do but that's all right in the last episode we harvested quite a fair few things from our garden so I'm gonna get Daisy to come in and sell everything and from the looks of it, the flower bunny has paid us a visit and sprinkled flowers absolutely everywhere. So I'm going to get Daisy to collect all of these and hopefully we can plant them when the sun's out again and hopefully they will grow. She also has a fair bit of plants to evolve. So I'm quickly going to do this for her now. I'm then also going to get her to harvest everything as we need that for our daily task. And once she's finished that, I'll get her to... Ooh. Wait, what plants did we unlock? Can we tell? If I analyze it, it says we unlocked a new plant type through grafting. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, so for our aspiration, we just need to graft onto three plants. So I'm tempted to just do that now if we can. Can I graft you? And then if I come over here and collect 
like a ticket cutting, I could probably graft as well. Okay, stop analyzing the plant, please. <laughs> and come and harvest everything. Okay, we've got one more to graft and we luckily have an extra shoot, so I'm gonna get her to do this now and that should finish our aspiration. Yay, we completed, I think this is part three of our aspiration. So it looks like all we have to do left is achieve level 10 of the gardening skill, which should be fairly easy because we need to do that for our career as well. That's crazy, I can't believe we've almost maxed that out. Someone keeps throwing up everywhere. <laughs> Aww. Clover like is always hanging around the cats. Every single time I come and see what she's doing, she's hanging around the cats. All right, Daisy is off to work now and Hallie's at work too. So we're gonna send the kids to daycare and work hard and I'll see you when we get back. Okay, so both Hallie and Daisy are finally back from work. Daisy's needs aren't actually too bad. So I think I'm gonna get her to come straight outside and work on her logic skill while Hallie um, gets herself some food and heads to bed. I think since there's no way Daisy can get a promotion anyway tomorrow, I'm gonna take a personal day off and I'm gonna send these guys on a little mini vacation um, Friday, Saturday, and then we can also age up the toddlers while on vacation. I think that's gonna be like a really, really cute idea. All right, Daisy has leveled up to level five of the logic skill, so I'm gonna get her to stop that for the night. I'm gonna get her to come outside and tend to her cow plant because it's been a little bit since we've said hi to Moo Moo, and I'm also gonna play with him too and make sure he's all loved up before we leave tomorrow. I want these guys to get an early night so we can get the most out of our vacation. So I'm probably gonna send them to bed pretty shortly just to make sure we do get enough sleep before the morning. From the looks of it, everybody is already asleep except for Daisy. So I'm gonna get her to tend to her garden just for a little bit longer. And then when she's finished, I'm gonna get her to head to bed. Uh, we can't plant any plants at the moment because it's too cold, unfortunately. From the looks of our calendar, it's still gonna be winter until next Saturday. So we have a whole nother week to get through. I'm not really sure what to do in the meantime since we can't plant anything i think we're just gonna have to keep harvesting what we've got and i'm gonna get her to come and evolve a bunch of these plants now <gasps> Ooh, yuki's gone into labor oh my god yuki i wonder whether she's gonna have a boy or a girl kitten this time i'm pretty sure she can only have one. Oh, look at her little tongue hanging out Daisy, come outside and give her a treat for being such a good girl. I'm just going to speed through this because it does take a while for the cats to give birth. Ooh, a kitten is born. Yogi just gave birth to a kitten. What would you like to call him? Sprig is cute. Okay, let's do Sprig. <laughs> Sprig, Bloom. I'm really curious to see whether he's going to look like... Oh, he looks just like... Muchy again, oh, but he's got Yogi's little tail. Oh my God, cute. Okay, since we've already given the kitten to Juniper and another one to Poppy, I think we probably will just keep this kitten, which is fine for now. Yogi, I don't think she has that much time left with us. So I think having four cats in the house is only gonna be temporary and I'm really sad about it, but I'm, I am glad that we got to pass, her, pass on her genes to our next little generation of cats. Okay, since it's almost midnight, I'm gonna send Daisy to bed now and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it's around six o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna get Daisy up now and Hallie has been up since about four working on the skills for the, not the skills, like the needs for the toddlers and her own. She's about to bath Clover and then I think we'll be ready to head on our holiday. Everyone else's needs are pretty good except for Clover's to be honest. She just needs to use the toilet. Daffodil could do the nap but I think I might just cheat up her skills slightly. Not her skill. What I keep saying that? She, I think I'm just going to cheat up her needs slightly for energy so she doesn't conk out by the time we go on vacation. All right it's it's 11 o'clock and I don't know what's happening. She's like not bathing this child so I'm just gonna fix that up and for some reason, Daisy has gone to work, so I'm going to get her to come home early and I'm going to get her to take a personal day off. Right, I can't. Whatever. Let's go on a <laughs> Let's go on a vacation. All right, so we're going to take everyone in the family except for the cats, obviously. So I need to grab Hallie and I've got the babies. Let's go. 
Okay, so I'm thinking we're gonna go to Henford on Bagley for our vacation this time. And there's only one rental, so we're gonna come and stay here. And we're only gonna stay for... Um, should we stay for one or two nights? If we stay tonight, yeah, let's just stay for one night. All right, we've arrived and for some reason, Hallie is not on this vacation with us. I don't really know what the problem is. So I'm gonna see if we can ask Hallie to join the vacation from the relationships panel. Okay. Invite to join vacation. Let's see if this works. Okay, Hallie is here now, thank God. All right, I'm gonna get Daisy to change into another outfit. Let's pop one of your cold weather outfits on, Daisy. And the cats are here with us for some reason. Why we did not bring the cats along. Sumi. <laughs> oh well, I guess we'll have to make do. Hallie's come inside and set the fire for us. I'm gonna get her to change her outfit as well. It honestly doesn't seem too wintry here at the moment it seems to be heating up a little bit from what i can see it's supposed to be sunny so i'm hoping the snow will melt in the next few hours and we can have a really good day together with the family i don't know whether this is supposed to be happening but there are a bunch of just random sims here as well i thought we had this place to ourselves but i guess not that's all right I'm pretty keen to explore this world, so I'm gonna get these guys to travel just with each other, and I'm gonna get them to come to this bar, which is in the main strip of town, so we can check it out. We're at the bar now. It doesn't look like anyone is here yet, so I'm gonna get Daisy and Hallie to come in and order themselves a drink. Let's order drinks for the group. Um, let's just get a juice on the rocks. Hallie has come to say hi to the bartender who is pregnant. <gasps> Congratulations on your pregnancy. And she's gonna make us a drink. And the toddlers, I think they're just gonna hang out outside. I wonder what if there's anything that they can do around here. It doesn't look like any festival is on at the moment, but there is a little park here. <gasps> Ooh, an ice skating rink. All right, once these guys have had a drink, I'm gonna get them to come outside and do a little bit of ice skating on their holiday. Did they make a drink for the toddlers? Yeah, look, that's not gonna happen. Where, where are they off to? Okay, so we've got two toddlers on the run. It looks like they're gonna go have a swim. I'm keen to just follow them and find out by the way. <laughs> where are you going? Oh my goodness, look at these menaces. I wanted to take them on a Sulani trip at first so they could hang out in the water, but it looks like they've just done that themselves, so it's not too bad. I think Daffodil is a little bit hesitant to go in the water, but Clover's like straight in it. She doesn't care. Oh, these guys are so cute. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. I'm really keen to see what these guys look like as kids because they're pretty cute toddlers. I'm glad they're getting along this time because <laughs> I didn't notice at the time, but in the last episode when we had um, Daisy and Hallie propose, the twins got some negative friendship and I wasn't sure why, but when I was editing the video, I could see Daffodil trying to give Clover a hug and Clover pushing her away. Oh, why are you guys sad? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna send these guys both off to daycare for the moment so we can spend some time with Dally and Haffy. Dally and Haffy. <laughs> Daisy and Hallie. Daisy's just in the toilet, which is great. And Hallie, why is your dad always here? I don't know what Hallie is making, but I'm not gonna let them do that. I'm gonna get them to head over to the ice skating rink. Let's invite to skate with Daisy. For some reason, it looks like they've had a bit of romance go down, so I'm not really sure what's happened while I was hanging out with the babies, but that's all right. All right, these guys are on the rink now. Look how cute she is. Look at Daisy go. She seems to be pretty good at skating. Maybe once the babies age up tomorrow, we can get them to come and do a little bit of skating. All right, I'm going to get them to do this for a little bit, and then I'm going to head us back to our rental um, for a good night's sleep. All right, we're back at our rental now. It looks like everyone that was here before has left, thank God. 
um, our toddlers are getting kind of sleepy, but unfortunately there are no toddler beds here, so I'm going to get them just to come and nap. Daisy is outside doing some barbecuing. I think the thing I like about this lot is that they can actually do cooking without having to rely on getting their food from the garden or ordering any deliveries, which is really good for the first time in like forever. Hopefully since Daisy's cooking skills are not that best and she is clumsy that she doesn't set herself on fire, but I guess we'll see. We've got two little sleepy toddlers over here on the sofa. This is like the last time we're going to see them as toddlers. I'm so sad. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, I love Clover's hair so much. I hope she can get something similar to this when she ages up. And little Daffodil. Oh, she's so cute. Alright, Daisy's going to have her potato. What are you eating? Yeah, her, Daisy's going to eat her baked potato while looking dazed from drinking too much. And then I'm going to get these guys to head upstairs and have a little bit of a woohoo before we conclude this episode. I'm not trying to get them pregnant or anything, if I'm honest. I don't think I want them to have any more kids. I think two is perfect for their family. And I think I'm just like letting them have lots of woohoos at the moment because our house is full. So there is no way we can get pregnant, thank God. So you guys can go at it at your house content. All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave this one here. I think in the next episode, we're definitely going to age up the toddlers, which I'm pretty excited for. I'm not ready to let go of them as toddlers yet, if I'm honest. Like, they're so cute. I want to keep them as toddlers for a little bit longer. But if we want to keep this series going, I'm going to have to age them up in the next episode. And it is their birthday as well. Emma will also be on holiday still. So that's going to be all exciting. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave some comments below. If you guys have any preference on who you think you want the next gen to be already, let me know. But at this stage, it's sort of hard to tell because they are toddlers. I think once they become kids, they're going to have a little bit more personality and it'll make it a little bit easier to decide. At this point in time, I think they're actually identical, so it's impossible to tell just by looks who the preference would be. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!